What's going on guys? Uh, this is Carlos. Uh, it's been a while since uh, I have been recording a video. It's been at least uh, four years and a half. And uh, anyways, I uh, just haven't had enough time. And uh, you know, now that I do have time, I just wanted to show you my custom made arcade machine. Uh, this one is Windows based at the moment. Um, it's for two players and as you can notice the joystick is actually in the wrong side. It's supposed to be right here when this yellow button is and the buttons are supposed to be it's supposed to go right here. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. It's my first build of this arcade machine. It is pretty sick. It's built through an um, older old school TRS-80. It's, uh, this computer is 36 years old. I mean, only the, the housing basically. As you can see, I customized the screen. Inside is a uh, HDP uh, 19 inches. Uh, I actually painted it with um, oil based paint. And this one is the plexiglass on the top. As you can see, the screws are over here. And this is actually. I, cr I cracked the, the plexiglass when I was doing something, but so I didn't really want to like, you know, put like a brand new one just because in order for you to actually make these holes to, uh, to do this um, push button together, you have to um, do it at the same time. So you have to drill and hold the plexiglass at the same time. Yeah, so it's a pain in the, in the button. And over here is my my favorite games of all time, which is Metal Slug. You can see that's the theme of this um, control panel and the TRS-80. Uh, that is um, links for the internet access, just in case I ever actually need to get access, you know, to the internet. I'll put it right here. I'm not really gonna get access to the internet. I, I did it one time, but. I don't really want to because I'm using Windows XP at the moment on this computer. I left this um, keyboard original. It's not working at the moment. It's not a non-working keyboard, but it will be working. And in my next video, I'll probably show you how you know I'm gonna actually make it work. I had to get this adapter probably. Or I'm gonna have to like. Uh, can you know I have to make like an adapter or something just to actually make it work well uh, that's gonna be in the next video over here you can appreciate the original buttons that's for the coins so I have unlimited coins this one is for player one player two of course all the buttons I have a uh, two four six seven buttons at the moment on each player well seven and eight if you can the one over here so it's a buttons that's only if you play in pinball with a pinball machine so another one over here for each player see it is actually really responsive um, right now I'm just showing you uh, with the you know device is actually off but I'm gonna show you also I'm gonna turn it on so you can actually see how it works and as you can see I have my also my <laughs> draw bag over here just because I love drawing and over here I'm working on my Windows computer because I'm about to actually um, do an upgrade on this com this RK machine uh, because I'm going to be using Hyperspin on it since Hyperspin is really extremely difficult to actually set up I haven't actually set up the Hyperspin front end on this uh, machine but I will be doing that and you know and in my next video, I'm going to show you when it's actually done. Right now, I'm just going to show you uh, because I'm excited about how it came. Actually, you know, this computer came out or this RK machine. I'm going to show you inside right now of the control panel. All right. So now, <laughs> yeah, I'm using this uh, chapstick just for the moment um, just to hold this. Uh, and over here, you can see I have a mini keyboard. This actually is a keyboard for the PS3. I... Um, use I took this keyboard from my brother because he's the one that has like the PS3, PS4, you know all the playstations. Um I have the um, laser 
mouse over here just in case I need to get access to the computer I can just you know literally actually just you know use use like a regular computer um, and it will be really easy and over here you can see all the connections through this um, a coder right here decoder whatever you want to call it that's where the magic happens right there guys this chip right here let me do a focus there you go looks pretty clean see all the connections it is pretty crazy it took some effort to actually build this machine it took me a month just because you know I'm always working on my free time and I, I everybody tells me that's I mean a pretty good time for my first time building these type of things um, I love it and it's really great my brother actually helped me to do the cabling on, on this uh, arcade machine the only two buttons are, I haven't actually really connect through the interfaces this right here and that one just because I, I haven't put any games from the, like a pinball <laughs> but I will be doing that it's really you know now I it does just the power button for the power cables I'm sorry for the LEDs because all these buttons are LEDs based also in see, I'm not sure if you can see well I probably have one over here oh, well I, I have four of them each color have blue green red and yellow it's right here I also have some extra buttons just in case you know with a with a with a chip already there um what else the screen let me open this uh, case so you can actually appreciate the inside of that okay and over here let me move my, my laptop away i have a also a fan over there all of them are you know the fan it has also an led blue led which because blue is my favorite color so i, I went for it for a uh, blue so let me open it so i can show you all right uh, so i just opened the the case See, this is how it looks open. Let me move back. I did a lot of modifications in this machine. I mean, I literally removed every part of this machine I, and I cut it to make everything everything fit perfectly. See, I have the fan over there, this LED. I also have a, uh, some speakers over there. I have the amplifier here. Um, this is a wire that got connected for to give a power for the LED for this fan right here. Um, I also had the, this blue wire right here. That one is the jack 3.5, so I can actually have the sound amplified through this guy right here. And over here, this button right here, this one is a you know, you can adjust it for the bass, but that's a, if I connect the subwoofer because I was gonna actually um, install a subwoofer on this side just in case I, if I want to use it like a jukebox. Uh, you know, I also have all the connectors over here. Uh, I have this this one is actually for for this guy for the amplifier for the speakers this one is for the um, power supply which is this guy this one right here is actually for the TV as you can see it's not a monitor it's, it's actually a TV I use a 19 inch TV and it worked pretty great um, I also installed uh, wood on the side as you can see I actually mark where the screws are going to be I uh, have another one where the, this cable is supposed to be so each screw and this cable right here is supposed to actually align with this mark so they can actually fit perfectly and so the TV or the monitor uh, is not gonna be crooked you know it's not gonna be um, it's gonna look bad if you know when you're playing or when you're looking at the image it's gonna look pretty bad uh, over here I have another fan as you can see I have uh, uh, this guy too to make sure uh, you know the um, the processor is actually uh, cool uh, at all times this right here is a flex it goes right here through here and that goes through this guy which is the original keyboard which I like I already said this one is no work is not working right now but I'm gonna make it work so right now it's just disconnected that's why I didn't cut it because I want to make sure I can find that adapter and if anybody knows what type of adapter do I need to make this keyboard work I would really appreciate it otherwise I'm gonna have to you know do it myself probably just 
mark map everything to know which button is which or change the keyboard to a newer keyboard all right over here you can see this is where the power supply is connected over here as you can see i use an older model of um motherboard see i have a, a id connectors <laughs> But hey, it works, you know, it works perfect. It's no problems whatsoever with this guy. I also replaced this battery because uh, the BIOS wouldn't start when I actually, when I uh, booted the first time, it was giving me some problems. I also upgraded the video card. See, you can actually appreciate the upgrade. Um, I, I really, the only reason why I upgraded a video card is because some of the video games, they, they actually, you know they were giving me an issue they were giving me lags so it was lagging so that's the only reason i actually upgraded because i didn't want to, to see that lag after i did that it's no problem whatsoever however this one like i say is an older um motherboard motherboard and um i'm using windows xp and as you know i'm uh, this xp actually runs 32 bit so I'm, I'm running 32-bit, but um, probably in the future, I'm going to be upgrading this to a 64-bit so I can actually use it in, in newer games. I'm, I'm, I don't really care really, just because I am more like, um, you know, old school games only. I love old school games. Newer games, not really. Uh, that's the only reason I don't have a PlayStation or an Xbox, just because I just don't really like these newer games. You know, I uh, just... That, but that's just my personal opinion. I didn't move the camera this way so you can actually see how it looks like this. Everything is open. It's crazy. It took me a month, but I think it, you know, it turned out really, really great. And oh, also this, you see this SATA cable right here? Yes, this way everything happens. <laughs> it goes on the bottom of this keyboard, which I'm going to remove for you so you can actually see it. Let me see. I I, I unscrew everything. One second. See, right now I have a double side. No, no double side tape. I'm sorry. This is just like a regular tape. Just holding the the hard drive, the SATA hard drive. That's a good thing about it. Cause see, I have connectors over here too, so I can actually light every LED on this guy using the power supply, and it's not giving me problems. I'm using a 300 watt power supply. So it works really, really great. <laughs> Let me, oh, what the heck? Yeah, it's been sitting for a little while. <laughs> Sorry about that. And as you can see, it's actually pretty clean. Cleaning up myself. It's an older model computer, so I don't want to throw it away. This um, keyboard, I actually really like it. I, I think it's art. <laughs> um, over here, this is the... Um, this one is a 250... Sorry about that guys, that was my dog, it was barking. Uh, anyways, this one is a 250 gigs hard drive. And it's a SATA hard drive and as you can see it's a very long cable. <laughs> Just because I wanted to make sure it's actually where it's supposed to be. So it's not getting too hot. It's, you know, it's actually in a perfect spot by itself. And also because this aluminum base right here from the original keyboard. Just in case it gets warm over there. This, this guy actually... Um, you know it just takes the heat and cools down the 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 hard drive it's not really you know it did not that it needs to but it works <laughs> it's not giving me any problems and i'm using this double uh, just a uh, regular tape just because uh, like i said I'm, i haven't finished this uh a hundred percent it's actually 98 percent right now so 98 percent done just because everything is working everything is in place it's just a few things that needs to be corrected like the front end right now i'm not using any front end so i'm going to show you how it runs and you know you're going to see it uh, it just looks like a regular computer but like i said i'm going to be using hyperspin the newer one um i'm going I'm to be running a lot of different old school games and hopefully everything goes fine I'm gonna be running this, you know, arcade machine in no time. And it's already running, but I'm gonna be using the, you know, the front end of uh, Hyperspin. I hope so. Or Maximum Arcade. Or the other one I saw is also the main front end. So, 
we'll, we'll see which one is the one that actually is going to work for me and I hope it's the hyper spin because that hyper spin is actually a pretty cool um, front end it looks very very you know awesome when you when you run the hyper spin on the computer oh my gosh that, that thing is you know it's, it's the coolest um, front end i ever seen and I hope I can run it in on this uh, in this build machine and on this RK machine. I supposed to be a um, bar top RK machine, but I think it's the way bigger. But it's my first RK machine that I you know I built. <laughs> I'm gonna probably build a second one and see how it goes. But let me go ahead and close everything for you and so you can um, see how it actually looks like. 